welcome to another video at Project Jeep Life. Today we're talking about our Chinese diesel heater and this is one of my favorite upgrades to the Jeep so I'm very excited for this video. To make it just a bit more clear and just better for this video we're gonna divide it into four parts. First we'll talk about specifications of the diesel heater then we'll talk about the components of the heater and installation Third, we'll talk about how we installed it in the Jeep. And fourth, we'll just talk about our experience thus far with it. We'll put timestamps for each of these sections in the description below. So feel free to jump to the section that interests you. Let's jump straight to it. First, the specifications of the heater itself. What we got is a 12 volt, 5 kilowatt Chinese diesel heater. Let me tell you, the 5 kilowatt is a bit of an overkill for the Jeep. What we were really looking for is a 2 kilowatt Chinese diesel heater. But we couldn't really find any here in Canada, or at least we couldn't find any with reliable reviews. And another reason why we went for the 5 kilowatt was because all the 2 kilowatt Chinese diesel heaters on Amazon are actually 5 kilowatt heaters labeled as two kilowatt so we just decided to go ahead and get the five kilowatt so we knew what we were buying here's a quick look at just the basic components and installation of the heater so the first thing out of the box is the main heater at the bottom of the heater you'll see three holes one for the intake which is a black pipe the other for the exhaust which is a metal pipe you will need to attach a muffler provided at the end of this pipe the smallest hole is for the fuel line there's a small black rubbery tube and some clamps provided with the heater you will need to use this to connect all the components on the fuel line like the fuel pump the filter and the fuel tank the fuel line is connected to the tank with the help of a little plug you will need to direct the plug through the fuel tank to the hole you've drilled. Now for the electrical. There's a main wiring harness. One connection from this harness goes to the display or the controller. The other to the fuel pump. The positive and negative will go to the car battery or preferably a secondary battery. So that's the basic components and installation procedure. Now for the fun part of how we installed it in the Jeep itself. A lot of deliberation went into where we should put the heater and then we finally decided on one of these cupboards. We put it in this cupboard to be exact. If you would like to uh, take a look at our living setup, we leave a link to the video up here if you're interested. So there are a lot of options of where you can place the heater. We've seen that there, there are some people who've placed it under here uh, if you're a jeep owner you know there's a little compartment under here they've also placed it under the driver or the passenger seat none of these were viable options for us so we just decided to put it here so this cupboard was actually designed to keep clothes and as storage but when we placed the heater there it fit there perfectly and it was ju just the right spacing and everything so we just decided to keep it there okay so the heater sits in this cupboard it sits on the platform that we built for the cupboard itself right here and if you can see on that side we drilled a hole on the side of the cupboard and that's where the hot air comes through right here then we can angle it and direct the heat the way we want it so we drilled a hole in this platform and that's where the um, intake exhaust and fuel line comes out through it comes out and goes underneath the cupboard so as you can see we took the intake out from underneath the cupboard we just let it inside the jeep a lot of people put it outside the jeep but we just let it inside the jeep the exhaust pipe that came with the heater was not enough for us to do the install so we went out and got some additional copper pipe and we wrapped both these pipes with fiberglass cloth and tin tape just to provide extra insulation. We routed the exhaust from underneath the cupboard into this pre-existing hole uh, and we took it straight down into the taillight area. There's a lot of wasted space in that area so we made use of that space 
And at the bottom of the taillight area, uh, we just had to drill a single hole and we took the exhaust through that hole and then it goes straight down below to the body of the Jeep where there's a square and we just let it out through there. And then at the end of it, we just attach the muffler. Okay, so there's the fuel pump and right next to it, we have the fuel filter. The fuel line goes straight down and it goes into the tailgate and the fuel line comes out of the tailgate through a pre-existing hole and attaches straight into the fuel tank. So the fuel tank is mounted on our spare tire. We mounted it on this rack that our friend Sean made for us. and it holds the tank perfectly. The main wiring harness splits into two. One goes to the display or the controller as they call it. The other connection goes to our fuel pump. The positive and negative, instead of taking it directly to the battery, we took it to our switch panel right here. So when we turn the switch on, the display comes on and we can control it that way. It also comes with a remote which you can use to turn the heater on and off. You can also increase and decrease the temperature with the remote and it comes pre-programmed. Now let's talk about our experience so far with the heater. The experience so far has been great. We have had some issues. The one issue we had was an error E03. So it's an error with the glow plug. There are two wires that come out of the glow plug. Apparently those two wires cannot touch each other or cross each other. And I think two weeks into using the heater, our heater stopped working because of this issue. And so we had to get a new glow plug and replace it. And it was a whole other thing. If you are getting into this uh, it's good to always have spares especially if the heater is your only source of heat after we fix that issue the heater has been running fine now we've had it for about two months i want to say with regard to the heat and the amount of warmth it provides the jeep the way we've set it up with a lot of reflectics and everything it is a small space and it gets uh hot it gets warm really fast and it retains the heat really well so we often just run the heater for about 30 minutes or so and the jeep gets like so hot sometimes that we have to turn it off and then in the middle of the night again when it uh, cools down and we want to turn it back on we usually turn it back on so that's how we've been using it uh, i do know that there is a timer you can set on the heater so it'll just turn on and turn off on itself that's been our experience with the heater it has been amazing especially in provinces like quebec and new brunswick when the temperatures were minus 17 and below freezing we we were able to stay warm thanks to the heater so when it comes to fuel consumption we don't really run the heater all night we use the heater much differently so we're not really able to gauge the fuel consumption exactly and be accurate about it but just for reference we fill up this 10 liter tank and it lasts us about two weeks sometimes more than two weeks but if you want uh, to know the exact fuel consumption, the manual does uh, list the fuel consumption for the specific heater. And if you want to calculate the fuel consumption yourself, there's a great video outlining how you can do that. And we will link that in the description as well. So that was our experience and thoughts about the Chinese diesel heater. I just want to add a quick side note. If you do want to learn more about these heaters or learn how to maintain it and take care of it yourself, there are two great channels out there on YouTube. We link them below for you. They do go to great lengths to explain the inner workings of these Chinese diesel heaters. So definitely check them out if you do want to learn more. And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I hope it helps. Leave your questions and comments in the comment section below and like this video if you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more of such Jeep and just outdoor living videos. Thanks, bye!